हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो एंड देन वंस कैपेबिलिटीज रिसीव आई विल गेट द रोल फ्रॉम द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सो इट विल रिटर्न द डब्ल्यू पी रोल क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट एंड देन आई विल लूप थ्रू ईच एंड एवरी कैपेबिलिटीज एंड कॉलिंग दिस एड कैप फंक्शन ओके ऑब्जेक्ट डब्ल्यू पी रोल क्लास एंड देन एडिंग दिस कैप सो वेन वी एड अ कैप देन इट विल अगेन कॉल द एड कैप मेथड ऑफ दिस सो इट विल एड दैट कैपेबिलिटी टू दिस यूजर रोल रोल क्लास प्रॉपर्टी ओके एंड इट विल ऑल्सो कॉल द एड कैप मेथड ऑफ द डब्ल्यू पी रोल्स क्लास मैथड and it will simply assign uh, to the roles and then simply uh, it will make a update option okay so uh, this way the capabilities will be saved into the database for for each every capabilities will be saved to the in the database for the administrator role and then uh, i have added uh, like i have used array fill keys because uh, we have returned the array of the capabilities which will have a index 0 1 2 3 and then as a value we have a capabilities now but in the database we need to pass a capability as an index and then as a value true because we want to grant that uh, access to that capability to that but role okay so i have to do i am using this psv function array fill keys which will convert or uh, use the values as a key and whatever the values we have passed it will be assigned so it will be capability and then its value is true okay and then i am using this add role uh, function to add a custom role so movie manager custom roles log we can say then the movie manager the role display name and all the capabilities we want to assign here so when this add role method happen uh, and then it will again calls the Uh, add role method of the wp role class and it will simply check whether the role exist or not if its role is not exist then it will uh, go ahead and then add that role to the database and update the options okay if that role already exist then it will simply do return so if you are uh, calling this uh, mlb add roles on any hook then uh, it will only add role won't like it if the role is exist then add role method won't again update anything into the database so if like let's say currently we have did this uh, add role okay now in the next plugin updates i want to add more custom capabilities to this movie manager role and if i just simply added it here for example in the capabilities add a in the same method and if it's calling then it won't be updated into the database why because the movie manager role is already exist so in that case we can use this add cap similarly we have did for administrator but add cap method always make a changes into the database so here add cap uh, at a time we can add single capabilities not the multiple capabilities uh depends on if we have uh, 10 capabilities we want to assign then 10 times the options will be updated okay so calling this uh, entire function here into the init hook on that so in init action will execute it uh, for all the request whether it's a front end or the back end request or whether it's a api request right this will execute and it will make unnecessary ops uh, updates in the options table even if the capabilities ha haven't been changed okay so because of these reasons i haven't called this function on the init hook or anywhere okay i am i am calling this function on the plugin activation hook so i will simply just uncomment this one okay so on a plugin activation i will call this function at mlb add roles which will add a role custom role and then add uh, assign the custom capabilities to the administrator role okay so um let's do this one okay so um i am i have already did so for this we have to deactivate the plugin uh go to the plugins and then deactivate uh why it's fire okay it's deactivated i don't know why it's a fire too um maybe i'm using the php 8.1 version so i don't know but yeah and uh, then activate it again now you can see the movies and people uh i have uh, so admin 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 uh, administrator role have access to the movies and people post type right because on activation we have added roles so now 
now onwards once the roles have added uh, capabilities have been added we don't need to execute this function all the time so this way we can save unnecessary um, database calls and like it's completely fine right so if we are uh, so we, we as a best practice we have to add a role and assign the capabilities only on a plugin activation okay if what if now let's say user has already activated my plugin and i am adding this functionality into the newer version so in that case so in that case you can use this uh, versioning thing uh, you can you can check what was the previous version and what is the newer version and if the version is different okay where after updating the plugin then only execute the migration kind of functionality once okay so this function will call when first time uh, the user uh, website is uh, loaded so first time you will see whether the uh, old use old version from the options table is the 1.0 and the newer version 1.1 so i i need to perform some migrations when user updating from old version to newer version so in that uh, in that uh, like in that uh, function uh, you can simply call this uh, the MLB add roles and it will execute once and once all this function is executed update the version uh, number into the options table to from 1.0 to 1.1 right so next time it will simply check whether the current version and the old version are same or not if it's same then we don't we don't want to run this thing now because we have already run it one time adding a role and assigning the capabilities only needs to be executed once okay to save a performance uh, to save a performance issues okay and similarly if the user is deactivating the plugin uh, then on the deactivation we will simply remove the roles and the assign capabilities so for example i have added a mlb remove roles okay so it will simply get the again call the uh, list get the list of the capabilities and simply use the remove cap and this remove cap function uh, uh, will remove the capabilities from the options table okay so it will run multiple times okay and then simply use remove role manager so it will remove the role uh, from the database too and uh, update the options here again okay so this will needs to be executed once so i have uh, on the plugin deactivation callback function i will simply call this mlb remove roles and it will remove the roles and the custom capabilities to the existing uh, existing roles okay so this way we can uh, we can add and remove the custom roles so let's say uh, now i have access okay and still uh, as a author i don't have access and now uh, we have already added a movie manager role so here you can see the movie manager so let's just quickly add a new role uh, for example uh, movie um, manager okay so and simply a uh, false email address learn wp dot paste then movie uh, manager and then i will simply do admin easy to remember right but do not use this password on a production site so anyways only on a local not administrator i will use a movie manager okay and add a new user right so new user have been added now go back here and simply log out and then log in with the new movie manager user and admin is a password now you can see the movies are accessible and the people are uh, post type accessible and the careers as well right um, so this way you can uh, you can, uh, like movie manager and administrator role have access to the movies and the person post types okay so now next is that we i have also added a movie settings page okay and this settings page only right now accessible to the admin okay because i have used a manage options capability so the role uh, this options page only will be accessible for the role who had access this manage options so manage options is used for for the settings for all the settings okay but now if uh, i want to give access that uh, movie settings access to the movie manager role um, i cannot use the uh, i have either i can give this manage options to the movie manager but along if i added this uh, setting uh, uh, sorry if i add manage options capability to the movie manager role 
it will also provide access uh, other settings access which we don't want to so here we can add we can use a custom capability so what we can do is here i will simply remove it and add uh, like uh, movie settings okay uh, settings and it is like a custom cap okay and now what i will do is i will simply use this mlb movie settings here and um uh go to this our function mlb add roles here and simply uh here i will uh, capabilities and pass this one as a uh, true okay so it will simply do a true okay. um so now we have added a capability but still we have to do activation deactivation um, but currently i am doing in a local so i can quickly perform activation deactivation but if it's a live plugin which are used by the other users then in that case you have to like perform that way about a migration based on the versioning okay so um, i i will simply go back here go to the plugins uh, deactivate so it will remove it and then activate it again movie uh now you you do you can see that uh that more administrator do not have access to uh the movie settings but if i go here now here movie manager have access because we have only uh we have only added uh capabilities to the movie manager this capability not added to the capabilities here so in that case what you can do either we can simply uh, go back here uh, here and then simply do like add a merge um, for example capabilities equal to add a merge okay. and here we can pass existing capabilities array and here in the array uh, we can pass uh we don't want this one uh, so it will simply uh give only here this way right now the about passing a true value uh it will handle by that function and will be add role function so now here we are returning all the capabilities which we want to assign to administrator and the movie manager role and then it will simply do here okay but uh okay so um let me just simply go back here uh, plugins deactivate and then activate again okay now if you go here now you can see the movie settings assigned to the admin and we also have access to the movie settings here in the uh, movie manager role okay but movie manager do not have the uh, media access like we already added a thing so if i go to the add a new movie okay so now you can see in the movie poster it says to edit the feature image you need the permission to upload the media so like we already given access then why not giving access to the uploads file so we can do this similar way so uh, administrator already have access that capability access so what i will do is simply copy this one and go to the upload files and uh, pass the value through okay and now again we have to do a plugin activation and deactivation right but only only in the local okay so it's fine uh, so i will simply refresh it go to the add new movie and now you can see the movie poster okay so you can have access okay so yeah so this way uh, you can uh, add remove a uh, custom capabilities okay so all the capabilities uh, like uh, you can get from the um from the official support documentation so you can also uh, similar way we have did for administrator so for example under another use case is that uh, uh, we have contributor role contributor role cannot publish the post they can only submit for the review but if you like as a uh, in the in your site if you want to add uh, want to give a publish uh, uh, publish post capability to the contributor role then you can simply get a role about the contributor uh, role object and then call this add cap and here you can simply pass edit publish uh, edit publish post so contributor can only publish their own post not the other post because uh, that can be done by the 
editor but if you want to modify uh, for editor and uh, like you if you want to add more access to the edit, uh, author role or the contributor role you can you can easily do that one by adding the adding the capabilities okay um so yeah so this uh uh yeah so this way you can add uh, remove the capabilities and then uh, update the uh, you can also use a custom capability so for example under the similarly like we have used a custom capability here uh mlb movie settings for movie settings right if you are developing some plugin and you have a, your custom post types or or the custom views or or, or any other thing where you want uh you want to you you want to manage it different way right similarly we have did for the movie manager uh we don't want to we don't want to provide a access to the person post types and movie post types to other roles like editor and author so similarly you can do this one okay so yeah so that's all about it so yeah that's all about roles and capabilities so let me just do a quick recap so we have learned about uh, different uh, existing user roles including the super admin role in the multi-site network what are the access all the use all the roles have where these uh, roles and capabilities information saved into the database how this uh, wp underscore user underscore roles and uh, wp underscore two underscore user roles option names constructed in the wp roles class we have also seen the code base wp roles class wp role then capabilities.php file for all the capabilities related functions current user can and many other functions are there we have learned about map meta cap uh, functions uh, which used to map the meta capability to the primitive capabilities how it's working okay so and uh, we have also learned about adding a custom role managing the custom capabilities for post types and taxonomies and many much more thing so having a knowledge in-depth knowledge about roles and capabilities means you can easily uh, implement a custom user level access i can say uh, and how and you know that if uh, if a user uh or if you are, have a problem where or issues where the user says uh, okay the editor role have do not have that access or we want to add more access then you can easily do because you know that what are the capabilities to manage it and how how it's working so easily you can you can do that so in the first video we have shown that official support documentation where all the list of the capabilities are there so you can you can follow that one too to know all the capabilities or directly you can uh, you can just fetch the all the list of the capabilities available uh, from the options table and then simply you can go through and explore the wordpress code base file so that you understand more about because wordpress code have very good uh, inline documentation as well so you will learn more about it apart from that you will also came to know about uh, various accents and filters which you can use like map meta cap function also have a filter map meta cap which you can use to modify your capabilities or based on the con some conditions you can modify the caps and you give the access through a programmatical access right so all these things are matter and as a developer we should know all these things and how it's working and how we can use it okay so yeah uh, that's all from my end about roles and capabilities so you can try all of this uh, in your local system and learn more yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress